By various estimates, uh, most people tend to spend somewhere between 40 and 90 minutes a day in actual natural lighting outdoors. We don't really understand all of the impact that being bathed in artificial light has on us uh, all of our waking hours. Especially around here now in the wintertime, we're going to be indoors almost all the time. Understanding the relationship between the light spectrum, the intensity, and our activity, and how it affects how we work, uh, how we behave, how we feel, these are research areas that are getting a lot of attention all over the world. In uh, 2008, the National Science Foundation founded the Smart Lighting Engineering Research Center, one of many engineering research centers that they support to address advanced technical problems. What people are finding out now is that there's a lot more to lighting and how human beings feel and how they heal and how they react than just ordinary white light. Our goal is not to really understand what makes fruit flies feel better or not feel better, but to understand the control mechanisms so that we can now design lighting systems with the necessary controls to work better for people. We're exploring how we can control all the color properties of light and do what we like to call dynamic lighting so that the light can change throughout the day just like the sun changes throughout the day and really create a lighting environment that's electronically controllable that helps people work better, read better, sleep better, relax better, and just create an environment which is much more like daylight. Maybe if we can do our jobs really well, make it even better than daylight.